Hi guys, Joe here from Lawn Solutions Australia. In this video series, we take a look at the main turf varieties that are commonly found in Australian lawns. Click subscribe to follow along as each video is released. First up, we're going to take a look at one of Australia's favourite lawn varieties, Buffalo. Buffalo grasses are a great all-round turf variety with a number of key strengths that make them an ideal variety for many Australian backyards. Buffalo grass, known as St Augustine in the US, is a warm season grass that is commonly known as soft leaf buffalo in Australia. Buffalo grasses have been developed over the years from the old scratchy types to the new soft leaf buffaloes that are commonly sold today, like Australia's most popular lawn, to Walter DNA certified. The main difference between the older types and these newer buffaloes is the newer buffaloes don't have that microscopic jagged edge like the old ones used to. Buffalo grasses can grow in a range of soil types, from sandy soils to light clays, and at a range of pH levels between 5 and 8.5. Buffalo turfs are one of the most shade tolerant turf types, with the ability to survive in areas receiving as little as 40% sunlight or three to four hours direct sunlight a day. They also have a good tolerance of salinity and make for a great option in coastal areas. Buffalo grasses have above ground stems known as stolons to establish from. Their stolons are very robust and hardy, providing these grasses with a good wear tolerance. They will, however, be a little bit slower to repair than varieties like Kaikuyu or Cooch that also have underground stems called rhizomes to repair from as well as stolons. Buffalo turf cannot be grown from seed as the seed it produces is sterile and chances of germination are minimal. If you need to repair a patch in your buffalo lawn, it can only be done by using live vegetative material such as the spreading of runners or by installing more instant turf. Buffalo turf can be installed year round Australia wide. It establishes quickly over the warmer months but can take a little longer if you are installing in winter. If watering is necessary once established, water only when there are signs of the grass drying out, like wilted leaves or some discoloration. If watering is needed, deeply soak the top 100 millimetres of soil and water early morning for improved efficiency and plant health. Over winter, it is recommended to leave your buffalo lawn slightly longer, which will give the grass the best chance to absorb sunlight and nutrient while minimising the ability for weeds to infiltrate. Buffalo grass can be mowed between 20 and 60 millimetres. They are best mown with a rotary mower, but a cylinder mower can also produce fantastic results. Removing clippings is encouraged, however mulch mowing is fine as long as clippings are not thick enough to inhibit the lawn getting sunlight. If you want your buffalo grass to remain healthy and have a nice deep green colour, it is best to fertilise a few times per year. As a guide for most areas, apply fertiliser in late spring, mid to late summer and late autumn. Warm season varieties, including buffalo, will naturally lose some colour in winter before greening up again as temperatures rise in spring. Some common broadleaf herbicides and weed and feed type products contain dicamba, which is not safe to use on buffalo lawns. All purpose weed control and bin dye herbicide contain the active bromoxanol, which is safe to use on buffalo grass. If you are unsure, always read the label first and check with your local Lawn Solutions Australia grower for recommended products before any application. If you think buffalo grass is a good option for your lawn, get in touch with your nearest Lawn Solutions Australia member for some more information. And keep an eye out for the next video in our turf variety series, which will feature cooch grass by clicking on the subscribe button. Thanks for watching and we hope to catch you next time.